Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's Rewire Strike, and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Um, so let's get to it. So, start off, it's got this little pull tab which you use to pull open. Um, here inside is the uh, controller. And it has uh, instructions for connections and stuff. It's also got a cable and I think that's all I really need. Um, let's see, let's see if it turns on. Is it wireless? Yeah, it's wireless. Okay, it's got a battery in it. Uh, this cable's pretty long. Um, it's maybe like five feet, six feet. It's pretty long. And uh, so I kind of like this because it's like a keyboard for my... These panels aren't touch screen. I, I thought they were. They were touch enabled. But this is the A button. This is the B button. There's some different presets here. And I think I could download an app that changes stuff up. But um, as you've probably seen in the video, all the buttons for a controller go here along these switches. Um, I'm actually just going to use this for a regular keyboard. I know that sounds crazy, but I use it as a as a keyboard for just navigating. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the Xbox adaptive controller. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my Xbox Series S and uh, yeah, uh, so that's, I don't know really what else to say. So if I push B, you know, I close stuff out. Um, if I push A, I can, I can navigate. I'll try to show you how I navigate. I'm navigating a little bit by using the D-pad. And then uh, just push A to confirm. To the then you got the video, push B to go back. And uh, yeah. So it's basically like a keyboard for my Xbox. I can go to the main menu. I can uh, navigate around. I can push start. Oh. So I can push start, go down, click quit. I don't know what these do. So there's a button here and you, as you push it, it lights up more and more. I don't know what that does. I have to look it up. Uh, okay, um, but anyways, yeah, that's that's the end of this. Uh, it's like a giant keyboard. All right, I'll catch y'all next time. Later.